What's up everyone, welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today instead of doing a car review, we're gonna kinda do a dive into tires and all that information that you might wanna know uh, to better inform yourself uh, when needing calculations or just learning the terminology. Uh, without further ado, let's dive right in. The first thing to understand is the numbers displayed on your tires. Let's look at this example of P235, 50, R18, 80S. For starters, the P pertains to the type of vehicle. It's not really relevant when understanding tire sizes, so we're gonna move on from that. The 235 is the tire's width, 50 is the sidewall series, and the 18 is the diameter of the wheel itself, or the rim, if you prefer that phrasing. Following that, the 80 in this example is for the load index, which is essentially the weight the tire can support under max inflation. 80 is rated for 992 pounds or so, and each number higher increases by a variable amount of weight, whereas 90 is 1,323 pounds, 100 goes up to 1,709 pounds. The S is the speed rating, which as you can probably guess is how fast the vehicle can travel without the tire performance being altered. Generally, the farther down the alphabet you go, the faster the tire can handle. S in this example means roughly 112 miles per hour, in theory, though, you won't ever really approach these max speeds, at least if you're driving responsibly. Real quick, guys, just so you know, here Ben's Car Reviews. I strive to bring the most accurate, relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no waste of time. If that's something that's intriguing to you and you like my car reviews, go check those out. And please like and subscribe if you like what you see. Let's keep going. Let's better understand now what the tire size actually is. 235 is in millimeters. Translating that to a relatable American number, there are 25.4 millimeters in an inch. So a 235 tire is 9.25 inches wide. A 235 is a pretty common tire size for sedans, I'd say. A pickup truck may be 265 or 275. A 275 width tire would be 10.82 inches wide. A beefed up sports car, which wants a lot of rubber for handling reasons, take the Challenger Scat Pack wide body, will have a width of 305, which equates to a foot wide which is very large. The pattern here to know without translating into inches every time is to know at least as the number gets higher, the tire is getting wider. The sidewall is the next piece to understand overall size of a tire. A thick sidewall is correlated to a smoother ride because there's simply more tire to absorb the road. A thin sidewall, or what I like to call and other people rubber band tires, is more commonly found on a sports car and will be a bit rougher in ride. In this example, I have a 50 series sidewall. This is a large sidewall overall, but they do get much larger. You would commonly find this on a base trim of a vehicle maybe, that is a smaller wheel size or even an all-terrain truck on a tire. The sidewall number is actually the percentage of the width of the tire. So the sidewall here is 50% of the 235 width, being 117.5 millimeters or 4.62 inches thick will be that sidewall. Sidewalls can range considerably, but that is the basis of what they mean. Again, the higher the number, the thicker it is. A 30 series sidewall will be pretty thin. 75 would be pretty thick, but also will depend on the width of the tire. Again, because that is a percentage of the width. The wheel diameter or rim diameter is pretty self-explanatory. Generally, the smallest wheel size you'll find on a vehicle is 16 inches, I'd say and that's usually accompanied by a decent sidewall thickness. The largest wheels you'll see are usually 22 inches. As we're moving into EVs, we're seeing some 24 inches on the horizon. And yes, they can also have a thick sidewall, but generally won't be as thick. Large wheels are usually found on sports cars or luxury trims of vehicles, or as I just mentioned, new EVs coming out. The large wheel to thin sidewall ratio looks pretty sharp, which is why they are desired on those vehicles. The other way to understand reading a tire width would be this format. In this case, 31 by 11.5 R18. This example, 31 is regarding the entire diameter of the tire from tire from edge to edge. The 11.5 is the width in inches and the 18 is the rim diameter once again. You commonly see this terminology for truck tires or large sports car tires. People who want to know how much tire they can get away with and may like using those numbers better. Plus, if you know you want a 31 inch tire, then you can see it right there. You don't have to do the conversions, which we'll get into next. 
So off of that, I want to address an aspect of tires that I always found confusing, which is if somebody says to you, my truck has 35 inch tires, what that actually means. Yes, 35 inches is the di diameter of the tire, but 35 inches may mean different things depending on the tire or how you get to 35. If you have a thinner tire, you know, what's the math there? To do the math, you multiply what's called the metric ratio, which is the tire's width, and the aspect ratio, which is the tire's sidewall. The thing to remember here is there are two sidewalls to multiply. Since the tire has two sides, you can't just do one end because you have the end between the, wheel, the road and the wheel, and then from the wheel to the top of the tire. Let's do an example of 315-60-R20. We have the 315 already, then we need to find the 60% of that 315, which is 189. Multiply that by two for the two sidewall sides. That gets you 378. 378 gets multiplied by 25.4 to get it to inches, which is 14.88 inches. Then you add the rim size onto that, which is 20 inches, giving you a total of 34.88 inches, which would then be called a 35 inch tire. You can have 35 inch tires with all different sizes of wheels, so the dimensions will be different to make the math work out to 35 inches. This is when the other measurement layout works far easier if you're looking for a specific number of a tire. You know, if the tire begins with 35, uh, because you already know, such as 35 by 12 R18, you already know it's a 35. You don't have to convert it from the other format. Interview guys, definitely lots of little details here when understanding the dimensions, the calculations, kind of what it all means. I hope these diagrams and this information made it easier for you guys. I know when I've had to look it up in the past, it can be tricky to find the exact, you know, kind of definitions or reasonings. Hopefully the words, the pictures kind of puts it together in a clear way for you guys and uh, helps you going forward. If you like this kind of video, I do do them occasionally. My main videos are car reviews, um, but either way, if you like the content, Please like and subscribe, it would mean a lot to keep the channel going. Hopefully this video will lay things out in a clear way for you guys, and thank you for watching this Ben's Car Review. I'll catch you on the next Ben's Car Review.